M0FXB, welcome to my channel, RS918 using WSJTX with just a USB cable plugged into the left hand socket, the lower USB socket of the of the radio and into my PC. It installed the driver automatically, I didn't have to do anything there. Let me just right click the device manager and I'll show you what shows up. Device manager, double click and there it is there, USB serial device seven. Now I did have to right click it, properties and change the port to 38400, okay? That's the only thing I had to do there. And remember it's COM7. Once I did that on the actual radio, well, it sets it, it once you have COM connection, it sets it for you, but it's on 7074 and the radio is showing USB. I tried digital, but that didn't seem to work. Now, if I go to the configuration, go down to settings and this part, this part was very good actually, because when I went into audio, it just had it there. Microphone USB interface MCHF. Um, so that's cool. And then on the radio, I selected the rig as M0NKA, which I believe is the developer of the kit. So thank you very much. QRP, COM7, which we just saw, CAT, board rate. And once I did that, it just worked. I didn't, I haven't even tested the CAT because when I put it into TX, it just started working. So when I change frequencies, if I go to, I'm on 40 meters, go to 20 meters, and it switches fine. So I've got cat control. So I haven't actually transmitted at all. I'm not looking at the signal here. I'm not sure how great it is, but I right click at the top here, set TXRX where I can find a gap. I haven't played with the ALC yet. And I'm just going to enable TX. We're on, I've set the power at five watts just by pressing the uh, the P at the P P A num P A button. But you can also tap the screen. So I've literally had this radio for about an hour. I'm just about to update the firmware to Nizar's firmware. But I thought before I do that, I'm going to uh, see if I can get it uh, working. I have got a tuner in line. Uh, the tuner, if I raise up, is just there. It's ATU100M, so it's that seems to have worked. So we'll just leave it running for a while. I'm just having a look at the ALC. You can change the meter just by tapping it. There's my ALC, which needs to be quite low, almost down to one. And the tuner works great. And it's just a patch lead you can buy them for about 60 pound and you don't even have to press any buttons on the tuner it just does it for you so we're running there i could try and click one of these stations were that were that are caught that are calling cq in a second let me just see the alc i would say that the alc looks very low <laughs> so it's possibly i've got to make more settings because it's not even showing up on the screen but I still, oh no, I've got a contact. How cool is that? And earlier on, I did a, I, I transmitted on one watt when I was testing the ATU and I had a contact straight away with a good audio report and I've recorded that as well. So this is good, isn't it? I mean, this radio is 260 pound delivered. It, the screen is to die for, it's a beautiful screen. You, know, the, you, you really got to see it in real life to see how lovely the screen is. Let's just leave it nice and big so you can really enjoy that radio. So I think I've showed you all my settings. The radio, you know, there's the up and down band button. There's a mode button on the screen and on the radio. So the band button up and down is just here. Here. The mode is just here. You can see my little pen wiggling there. There is even a tune button that you press when you tap tune. It sends out a carrier so you don't have to mess around with it. how are you going to activate your tuner although this one's automatic you've got steps underneath the VFO or you just press it bandwidth and you've got DSP here 
Like I said, we can tap the screen and change the ALC, but it's, I'm, I think I've been lucky with that. Because even though it's very low, we've had a contact. Seems to be going through, I'm getting replies to everything. I haven't even set up, uh, what do you call it, um, grid tracker yet. That's something else I want to try. Just minimum. Oh, it's me messing around. I think we'll end it there before I ruin the video. Um, I just wanted to let you see, I minimize that, what, you're, what I'm seeing here as well. So there's your frequency. I don't tend to do FTA on, tw on, on 14 megs. I tend to use 40 megs. But you enable TX. I normally change the ALC by moving this power bus button here, but there will be an ALC adjustment on the radio. Should we double click one? Here's one here, S-A-Z-O-N. And see what it does. I think we completed the previous one. Did it say 7.3? I don't actually use FT8 that often. Let's let it go into TX. Here it goes. Now it's gone red already. Um, so no, that was the previous station. Why has it not said 73? Just click enable. It's still talking to. Uh, F F five O Y A. Okay, can I end it? Can I go halt? There's my reports there, minus five. It actually started off better. It's the Q here. I did double click the D station. Let's try another one. Enable TX. Right, okay. I'm now calling OE3TKR. We'll let, run that, let that run a few cycles. I mean, I think this radio is excellent. I've got the Zygu. I'm a big fan of the Zygu. But I'm actually enjoying this more. The thing about the Zygu, it, it can get a bit glitchy, can't it, at times? And that can be a bit annoying. Um, it's nice to use, but this is just working. This one is literally just working. And I haven't added the Nazir firmware update yet. Uh, like it was about £260 delivered. These tuners are so cheap, I've got this them lying around. So let's go back into my settings while it's doing that. Show you it one last time. Settings. You can see it flashing away there, test cat and test PT. Audio, radio. I need to remind myself how to, oh, call sign, grid. I need to remind myself how to use grid tracker because that's been a while. It looks like we did get a contact with OE3 TKR. So you can tell I'm unexperienced with FTA. But the main thing is we got it working and you've seen all the settings and it's literally just a micro USB in the side, which I will show you now. Just there in the side, the lower one with the red tape there's my tuner that's my tuner sorry about i'm moving around quite a lot but that is the tuner i'm using atm 100 highly recommended very cheap as well and then just plugged into my pc which is i know it's a mess here but there's my little connection into my pc just put that back where it belongs And I'll, lastly, I'll show you my device manager again. Right click, device manager. And I didn't install any drivers. This is Windows 11. There you are, USB COM7. It also comes up with this one here, COM3. But, 
and it looks like we've had that we made that contact as well it, it keeps doing the f5 oya it's probably my fault i haven't ended it so maybe i should just click that one there uh no i don't know i, I don't know maybe i should just clear everything erase the lot and then choose this one here enable tx And uh, thanks for watching my YouTube channel, 7-3, all the best.